I aspire with my little eye, something that begins with, fuck, that's a long drive I'm driving at the moment. Hey guys and girls, Nathan Birch here. Just want to say Happy New Year and hope all is doing well. Um, just wanted to touch base. I'm just driving at the moment, uh, trying to quit smoking cigarettes. Uh, so I've got this little inhaler thing here. If you see me puffing away on it, it does nothing. It's just plastic. It's like a dummy. Um, just uh, driving, uh, had a few new, new year resolutions and uh, got a little bit of uh, energy in my system. So I thought I'd get, I was a bit bored. So I thought I'd uh, hop in the car and uh, go for a drive to far north Queensland. Um, been spending some time in the Whit Sundays, just heading out to Cairns to meet a couple of people, have a few chats, and then uh, drive back to the Whit Sundays and, um, you know, go on helicopter rides and uh, all that sort of fun stuff. Um, with it, just wanted to touch base, uh, first of all, to wish everyone a Happy New Year um, and just make a couple of comments regarding uh, a video I put out just before New Year's, which was about setting goals and, um, and uh, yeah, planning for the year ahead. Uh, a lot of people ask me, Nathan, how do you determine what's, you know, how do you set your goals? What do you put on for your goals? All that sort of stuff. Um, you know, I see a lot of people talk about just a goal in itself. Uh, however, it <clears throat> the goal in itself, you know, it should be detailed. It should be, you know, if I'm going to be, well, sorry about the vibration of the uh, the uh, camera too, by the way, guys. It's uh, just, you know, rough road in the four-wheel drive. But um, with it, you know, if you've got a goal that you want to, buy a property in 2016 if you've got a goal of you know i want to buy a car if you've got a goal that i want to lose weight um how do you see your goal do you sit there and say i want to be way less weight this year i want to be skinnier this year i want to you know buy a house this year like what sort of house what sort of weight do you want to be at how, how do you want to be healthy all those sorts of things so uh, for me i always look at you know there's, there's things that surround your, you know, your plans and your goals, and you should live your life in accordance with that as well, in my opinion. Uh, so the person, how you conduct yourself in a day-to-day -day manner, you know, will determine on how successful you are in achieving your own goals and your successes in your life. So, um, you know, if you say, I want to be skinny or I want to lose some weight, well, you know, if you go to the toilet in the morning, you're going to be weighing less weight. But the question is, is, how much weight do you want to be? So if you're 100 kilos, you want to be 90 kilos, we'll put in there, I want to be 90 kilos by a certain date, and then work out, you know, how do I have to, what do I have to do in order to weigh 90 kilos? Do I need to uh, go and, um, do I need to go and uh, go to the gym three times a week and eat cleaner food and, you know, what are the actions that you need to do? Because it's not just a matter of saying, I want to weigh less weight. That's the, you know, the poor person's way of excusing himself for not achieving their goals is you should have defined goals and have an action plan uh, to actually achieve that. Uh, if it is to buy a property, what do you mean it's to buy a property? Is it to, you know, what sort of purchase price? What sort of uh, things do you need to arm yourself with to get there? Because if you've got a goal of buying your first property at the end of 2016, what actions do you need to do this year in order to get yourself there? Do you need to make sure you've got the right team around? Do you need to make sure that you know what you're saving up for? Do you need to make sure that you're buying the right property out there? What actions do you need to do and preparation do you need to do to get there? You don't see Tiger Woods or any great athletes out there uh, you know, just waking up one morning going, yeah, I just swung a few balls around now, I'm the greatest. They actually take time to prepare themselves and get them to the premium point of of their career to get themselves to where they need to be. So from your side, I think that, you know, if you want a good relationship uh, with your spouse or whatever, you know, a good relationship and good sex life doesn't come from having, you know, not having the awkward conversations because, you know, if you want something, you need to work through it. And I like to think of when, you know, when I'm setting a goal, what am I prepared to risk to get the outcome that I want? So first of all, I need to know that I'm on this road. I'm going for a journey to the end destination. I need to know where that is. I need to know where I am starting from and have that roadmap of how to get there. Along with that, what things am I prepared to do 
in order to get there. So people will say, you know, oh, that's all too hard. Oh, you don't need money to be happy or whatever. But the reality of it is, is that what sacrifices, I didn't just wake up one morning and go, shit, you know, Nathan so smart, he's bought his properties. It was a gradual progression of my lifestyle to actually get myself to where I am today. Uh, whether it means that I sacrificed my youth from working two full-time jobs or whatever the case may be. But let me tell you, I live life on my terms today and that, I think, is the most emancipating feeling that one could have is being in control of your life to do what you want, when you want, and not being constrained with the, you know, the, the, the things that society expects you to do, i.e. work or, or whatnot. So being able to set yourself up uh, for success, I think, is a lifestyle decision. Uh, I make decisions every single day and every, every person around uh, you know, has to make decisions, but a lot of people follow the cause of action of what's around them. So you know, it could be something similar to a conversation that you might have with someone this afternoon, where you could be focusing on you know, planning your goals for 2016. You could be doing your second job to you know, make sure that you're pushing yourself into the new stratosphere. Uh, or it could be, you know, one of your mates, um, you know, talking about home and away and uh, whinging about how, you know, something's gone wrong and, you know, talking about the football and whatnot. So if you're not prepared to sacrifice the fact that, you know, you're going to, you know, um, you're going to miss out on that football game down at the pub and get pissed with your mates, if you're not prepared to sacrifice something, well then obviously you don't want it great enough. But I want you know you guys who are watching uh, to know and have a conscious level of you know, every action that you take in your day-to-day -day basis. Like as I said beforehand, I'm trying to quit smoking. Uh, I always say this at New Year's. I love smoking, it is awesome, uh, but I know it's no good for my health, you know? I know it stings like shit. I never like the smell of it. I know that, whoa, there's a car here that has flipped on its roof. I just had to see that. Don't worry, no one's hurt. It's an old car that's been sitting there for a while by the looks of things, but it was a dis distraction. Um, but where was I going with my point? So with my smoking, if I wanted to quit smoking, do I sit there and just go, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, hang around all my friends that smoke, go to the pub and be in a smoking area where you wanna have an alcoholic drink and smoke? Uh, do I just, want to say it and then go and have a smoke and go, oh, it's okay, I've cut down on my smokes because you fall back into a habit. Um, what I've decided to do is A, push myself out and just go for a fucking drive by myself because I wanted to um, and so I can see some cool stuff along the way um, and get rid of some of the energy that I've got uh, from the extra oxygen going through my body. Uh, but I took it as like a, a, a position to go, okay, I know there's other aspects in my life which I'm not at the peak level of where I want them to be. So whether it be, you know, making yourself feel better. So, you know, I, I don't uh, not shy away from anything as you, you guys always know, but you know, I've gone and got a facial, went and got a pedicure, a manicure, all that sort of stuff, because it makes you feel better from a mindset. And if your mindset is like, okay, I don't have yellow fingers at the moment because I haven't been smoking two packets a day, well, you know, you look at there, you go, well, if I was to have a cigarette right now, I would wreck that. So it's a mindset. Um, you know, get yourself in a peak level of your mindset to make sure that 2016 is gonna be the best year of your life. Um, you know, hopefully what I can deliver you uh, just from these videos <coughs> will help you achieve uh, some more greatness in your life. So hopefully uh, that is all good for 2016 and you kick ass, sorry, I'm just uh, getting distracted with other vehicles on the road. But um, we'll catch up soon, uh, keep being awesome, and have an awesome day.